In a typical city or town, on a typical residential street, we find a typical home occupied by a typical American family. Like millions of his fellow Americans, John Q. Public earns enough money to keep up the payments on a new car. He takes great pride in owning a fine, new, long-term mortgaged home that was built to last a lifetime. Mrs. John Q. Public no longer finds housework fatiguing drudgery thanks to a host of labor-saving devices, including her husband. Mr. John Q., because of a 40-hour week, has the leisure to dream about his favorite sport. Darling! Oftentimes, in a secluded corner of his private den, John Q. reflects on some of the better things he has done with his life. Insurance to protect his family if he is called before his time. Money in a savings account for emergencies, for summer vacations, and to help put John Q. Jr. through college. In spite of the high cost of being a husband and father, John Q. has a private little nest egg. His practical nature tells him it ought to do more than collect moths. even know what they are. Mm-hmm. In that case, it might be a good idea to get a little information with a fellow who owns and operates a company that makes and sells oil drums. Each year, customers buy more and more from our because he makes a better oil drum than his competitors. One day, customers demand more oil drums than the owner can produce. He figures it will take about three million dollars to do the job. So he decides to form a corporation to sell shares in his business to raise the capital he needs. First, the owner goes to the state government to get a corporation charter and permit sell shares in this business. Next, our friend goes to an investment banker and shows him the record of the oil drum manufacturing company's past performance and plans for expansion. The investment banker decides to help our friend sell shares in the corporation to raise the three million dollars. However, before any shares in the corporation can be sold, certain information must be filed with the Securities and Exchange in Washington. The investment banker and the owner must swear that the information they file contains nothing but the truth. Registration with the SEC does not imply that the government approves the stock issue as a good investment, but only assures the public the material statements about the stock issue are false. Punishment will be accorded.